I am Tom Stokeman, I'm 25. I live in the Highlands of Scotland in a small town called Ornes. Nicknamed the Albatross because of my wingspan. I've always, always, always loved sport, football, anything that had a ball. I was diagnosed with Asperger's, what I thought was an illness that would change my life. When I was younger, my dad worked away a lot, hardly ever see him, but my mum was at home, trying to look after me, my sisters, my brothers, everyone tried to look after me and it was uh, quite a hard upbringing for me. The only thing that was keeping me going at that point was I excelled at physical education and I played football and like I said, played everything sport-wise was the thing that was keeping me going and I wanted everybody to know that I had autism because I was going in and out of classes, I was getting support, I was getting help with work. I was only going to school two, three hours a day. Asperger's was just a stepping stone on the way to getting to kind of where I am today. 2013, I went down to watch Luke do Scotland's Strongest Man in his first year of competing and his first year doing Scotland's Strongest Man and that's when I seen these guys lift cars, lift logs, lift things I didn't even know was possible to lift. And seeing Luke win that gave me a buzz saying like if he can do it then I don't see why I couldn't do something like this. Having Luke as a kind of role model to look up to and help me through the first few years was incredible and getting to the World Strongest Man finals with Luke and being crowned as officially the world's strongest brothers. Going to Woos and myself and Luke being in the top three at the first kind of international comp which is special and kind of that's when we I think put our names on the map and made a staple in the game of strongman. It felt like I had one world's strongest man at that stage and that was an incredible feeling and it's just memories like that that makes this sport special. So my aspirations in life is trying to, to help people with kind of the same difficulties that I had growing up and to help maybe parents who don't understand as much about autism and special uh, additional needs uh, as they would like, you know what I mean? I had the most supportive mum in the world, supportive dad, family and everyone was there for me and, and I want to kind of give that back. I've got Asperger's and I'm one of the strongest men in the world and if someone said that to me 10 years ago, they would, I would just laugh in their face going, you know, I'm different to everyone else, I'm not going to do it. But that's my probably biggest aspiration is to try and motivate people who have got additional needs to achieve their goal and don't let anybody tell you that, nothing, that anything's impossible because that is a massive, massive like boundary that people say and I listened to that for a while. But yeah, my biggest aspiration is to help people to become like the next, well, Tom Stokeman, Luke Stokeman, you know. And, I want to do that to someone that's maybe got additional needs and needs a bit of extra push. So I always use the motto, don't give up and uh, don't let boundaries get in your way. And hopefully I'm a good example of that with what I've kind of said about my Asperger's and autism and also make goals, but make goals that people think are impossible to break. And then let the haters talk and let them say their thing and go and prove people wrong. And also stay spicy, stay safe and smile. That is the most important three.